Welcome, welcome, welcome once again to Words Have Power. This is your host, Teresa Holly Howard, and I'm so excited for our October Summit. So excited to bring you another amazing, phenomenal woman to really just speak into your life, to give you guidance, to give you encouragement, inspiration, and help you with this last quarter of 2019. Welcome to the show and tell us all about yourself. Good evening. Good evening. I am Teresha Wade. I am a motivational speaker. I am a minister. I am a businesswoman and one who encourages everyone to do their best. So tell me a little bit about your ministry. Okay. I am a intercessor. I am a praying um, woman of God. I do deliverance and intercession um, for people. And I honestly um, invite God into a space where people's faith, maybe their faith is not strong enough. Maybe um, they have doubt. Um, maybe they're in a place where um, they just haven't seen manifestation happen. So I go into what I call the delivery room and I go and I pray for people. That's so exciting. So tell me a little bit about your business. Okay, business-wise, I do from marketing to branding, um, help people uh, get into different avenues and marketing, things that people probably never thought of to do and um, give them a, just, I, I like to say, we like to go into the lab when it comes to marketing. Some of the things people may not think to do, I'll think about some suggestions and things as far as an action plan for them to be able to do, to take their business or their brand or their self to a whole nother level. That's so exciting. So maybe some out of the box things, not traditional that we may not consider doing when we're thinking about marketing. Correct, yes. I'm so excited to have you on because I know branding and marketing is so important as an entrepreneur, especially if you are, even if you are in an MLM or you're in a network marketing situation, you still have to make yourself stand out. But if you're in your own business and you've started from the ground up, from scratch, your own company, you need to make sure that your branding and your marketing is on point and that people know what you're doing so that they can use your services. That's absolutely uh, correct. If people don't know your story or don't know who you are, then it's very hard for people to, to communicate or even listen to your story. So that's why it's, it's, an, it's important that when you are an entrepreneur and that's the lane that you're stepping in, that you make sure that you do 100% of marketing to market your business, your brand, so people will know the who, what, why, and how. So true. So if an entrepreneur is just stepping into that lane, what are some tips or, you know, must haves that they need to do in order to be successful? Well, one of the things I would suggest is what I do with some of my clients is first you find out, do a basic intake of the person, you know, what is it about the person or why they want to do this particular business? What's going to make their business a little different than the next person if, if maybe perhaps your next door neighbor could offer the same service? So I pretty much, when I'm working with my clients, get them to really know their self, um, really like what's their passion, if their heart is in it, or is it something that you're just trying to do because you, you know, if you're trying to do multiple streams of income, you know, what is it that you're really trying to do? So I make them identify those core values within themselves because once they get to do that, then they kind of understand, okay, the direction that they're going and what it's going to take to get them to the top. That's so powerful because I know sometimes when you come in, you just really are thinking about the monetary part and you don't take the time to identify the cores of your business, the, the services you're going to offer, what's going to differentiate you from everyone else who offers that same service, especially if you're in an MLM, you know, so you have to take the time to set your business apart from others in order to stand out in the marketplace. 
That's correct. That's correct. And once they uh, do that and identify, you know, their selves and are really true to themselves, then they can kind of understand the next principle step. Like one of the things I do is I make sure I don't take my clients too fast. So we have a principle guideline monthly that we will work on to incorporate them to actually be the best of them. So when they actually have a launching of their business, then people can actually see, you know, what it is they're doing. I try not to have them where we still have a process where we still are trying to do a dialogue as we go along. Once you launch your business, you want to be in full effect where people know exactly what it is that you do and they don't question what it is that you do. And it's also important that the entrepreneur, as they're doing the business, you know, and you find out from that intake process what it is that they're trying to do so they'll know the process and as far as like monetary, you know, you don't want to get a client that come along and if they're unfortunately just about the money, people sometimes wants to want to see the, you know, turnaround quicker than longer. So depending on what business they're doing, we also have to research that and let them know what the turn, turnaround would look like so that their expectation, my expectation or maybe whatever it is they're trying to do that we're on the same page. So true. Because if you don't know where you're going and you just throw your business out there and you don't have a plan in place, you don't have marketing and branding in place, you're going to flounder for those first few months. It's so much better to have a plan in place and to have all of that research and all of your ducks in a row before you ever launch so that you have a successful launch and you have a quicker trip to where you're making the money. Exactly, exactly. So that's, that's some of the principles that we definitely um, do in the intake process, which have been, it's been a success story, you know, with that, because you really want to build relationships with people. Relationships last longer than the actual monetary. So true. And I don't think people understand that, that if you build relationships with your clients, with your customers, even with people who may be future clients and customers, because maybe they don't need your services today, but they may know someone who does, or in three months, they may require your services. But if all you're doing is chasing that dollar bill and you're not building relationships along the way, you're really doing your business and yourself a disservice. Exactly. You most certainly are. That's marketing. True. I think people don't understand that marketing has to be more than just, this is what I do. Here's a pretty graphic and send me your money. It has to be about solving a, a problem for them, offering a solution in a different way and building the relationship and trust with that person that's going to be your client in the future. That's true. That is so true. Can you give us some tips for entrepreneurs who are just starting out? Maybe a few questions they can ask themselves to kind of set themselves in the right direction. Well, you know, again, I would go back to the intake process of, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, you're just starting out, you know, like, why is it that you want to do what you do? Um, you know, what's your passion for? What is it that you're trying to do? Um, I believe once you go from your mission statement and your vision that it takes you to a place a lot of times you find out that people want to be entrepreneurs they want to start a business but in reality they really don't even have a mission or a vision on why they want to do it people really just want to know your story so if you're just starting out you really want to make sure that you're able to tell your story articulate your story um is so, you know, people are so quick to go on social media in different places and, you know, post up to say that they have a new business, this is what they're doing. And sometimes you'd be surprised that you may get a hit right away and you find out somebody's not ready or they're not ready for maybe the opportunity that's being presented to them. So if you are an entrepreneur and you're just starting out your business, you want to make sure you dot all your I's and cross all your T's and that you have everything in order, you know, why you're doing what you're doing, what's your motivation behind it, what is it that the actual client or consumer um, can expect from you, what is it that they're going to gain from you, when they leave from out of your presence, what is it that they can say that they were able to achieve with you, uh, are you data uh, driven, you know, uh, what type of results do you have, so 
starting out, do your to-do list, you know, and do your want list, you know, do, do the pieces where this is what I want. And then you'll get to see also things that you need. And if your the need outweighs the wants, then you'll know exactly the direction that you need to be going. That's such powerful advice because if you end your business and you are not prepared, you are probably not going to be successful. And if you are, it's going to be a stressful journey. So if you are prepared beforehand, and if you take the time to set up your whys, your wants, your needs, the things that the reason why you've decided to start this business, the people you want to help, and so that you know where you're headed with your mission statement, you know, with your vision board, however you do it, if you make sure that you know what you want out of this business and how you want to serve others, you will be so much more easily to find success and to find people who will come alongside you. If you're wishy-washy and you're not sure of things and the, wa the water is muddy, as my grandma would say, and people can't clearly see what it is you offer or what you do, then they're just not going to reach out to you because they don't know if they need your services. That's absolutely correct. So you have to, you have to come out of, you have to step into like a ball field. I look at it like this, you know, when I step out, I try to step out like I'm at a baseball game. I'm going to hit the ball and I'm going to have a, a, a home run. That ball is going to go outside of the stadium because that's how hard I'm going to, you know, strive for what it is that I'm going to do. You have to have a story behind your why, why you want to do it. What's motivating you to do it? Be very truthful, very honest. If it's something that you know you're not good and don't go into territory or lanes that you're not prepared for. And by all means, do not rob to steal to get to where you're trying to get to because eventually that catches up, you know, as well. So so you want to, you know, be a person of integrity in your business as being an entrepreneur, you want to make sure that you're being very honest and, you know, just watch how God will just open up doors, you know, for your last couple of quarters of the end of, uh, 2019 you should already have everything mapped out 2019 should be a book closed you should already be in 2020 about your preparations the the first six months or 10 months you should already have it done you know what your 2020 look like you know what are some of the things that you're taking into 2020 have you exitly exit 2019 already have you done everything that you said that you were going to accomplish and do in 2019 and what are you looking at moving forward to in 2020 that's so true. And if you do not map out a plan, if you do not plan ahead, you are not going to be successful on a long-term basis. You should be planning six months to a year out. I know with my company, I already have 2020 planned. The books we're going to do, the services we're going to offer, the programs we're going to have, the mindset things we're going to do, the crews we're going to take, the events we're going to speak at. I'm already mapping 2020 completely out because that's how you have to be in business. You have to be ahead of the game in order to be successful. That is true. That is true. If people do that, they can get a long way and they'll be able to have more success stories than failure stories. So true. So tell our listeners how they can connect with you. I'm um, where well, I am on Facebook, um, Instagram, and Twitter. I am again, um, intercessor Teresha on there or Teresha Wade. Um, I'm very easy, uh, to, uh, locate. Um, you can inbox me or you can email me at I am Teresha Wade at gmail.com. Um, and Hey, I'm there. I go live a lot. So you can always, uh, reach me. So good. Do you have any parting advice for new entrepreneurs or even maybe entrepreneurs who have been in the game for a while and just need a reset button? I would definitely say make sure that you take some time out for yourself, have some self-care um, moments, you know, um, days and stuff where you are in a place where you get to uh, at least allow some pour into you where somebody's pouring into you you not be the only person that's pouring out into people that people are actually you have somebody that's going to pour into you that you uh, go away before you fall you know fall apart uh, always still still like journal yourself you know make documents to yourself write to yourself you know um, a letter to yourself you know how things have been going what you've been able to accomplish where you're trying you know to go 
always remember to just to keep yourself first. Don't get lost in the business. Um, keep your family abreast, you know, make sure that everything that you do, that it benefits you. And what I mean by that is making sure that you take care of you. If you retire from your business, what does your legacy look like? Are you able to leave a legacy to your family and generations to come? That's what you want to do. And that would be my departing words for you. That's so powerful because, you know, a lot of times when we think about our businesses, we don't think about leaving that legacy. We think about the day to day, if we're going to make a profit this month, how we're going to pay the light bill. And we really need to focus on the long, long term effects. What are we going to leave to our children and grandchildren? What are we going to teach them by our journey? And so that's a powerful thing to be able to leave a legacy to your children. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us and chatting with us today. I'm so excited to have had you on the show. Um, tell them one more time how they can reach out to you. Um, you can reach out on social media. I am Tarisha Wade on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Or you can email me, I am Tarisha Wade at gmail.com. Do you have anything coming up that they can follow? Um, I always have, you know, again, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday every week. Um, you know, I'm going live, you know, today was uh, Wisdom Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is always a test of a testimony. And Fridays is always finally Fridays where you can be able to talk about you just being in a place where it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday and what we're going to do. So there's always um, something encouraging words um, where you can just join me on those days. Thank you so much for speaking to my audience today. And thank y'all for listening to Words Have Power. This is Teresa Holly Howard. Remember your words have power, use them wisely and use them to change our world.